Hi, everyone, and thank you for coming to our VCE Virtual Career Exploration. I am so excited to have a woman in trades. This is so exciting to just hear from a personal point of view. My name is Adriana Francois. I'm the program manager at Light, and I'll give it up to Gabriel. Hello, my name is Gabriel. I'm a Light Leaders Youth Podcaster, and we're super excited to be uh, interviewing Ashley Wilson. And uh, before we get to that, though, we want to talk about what we're doing this month. So since this month is Women in Trades and also Women's History Month, we want to feature women in the different trades and careers that they're achieving in. And last week, we had a, an amazing interview. So if you haven't watched that, we'll be posting it very soon. And we're very pleased to introduce uh, Ashley Wilson, if you would like to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Ashley Wilson. Um, I am a welder. Um, I've been welding professionally for about a year and a half now. Um, anything else you want to know about me? <laughs> uh, well, maybe you could share a little bit with, of your, your background with us and when you started welding and, and what type of a welder you are. Okay. Um, I started welding actually during the pandemic. Uh, I got laid off from my job. I was trying to find something uh, more steady. I knew I wanted to get it into the construction field, but I wasn't really sure um, how I was going to go about doing that. So I started doing some research um, and then I came across Chicago Women in Trades. And that's where I actually went to school for welding. Um, it was a free program for women um, to get into the, the trades and they had a welding program. Um, the program was only 12 weeks long. Um, we did math refreshers. And then we went straight into the classroom and started welding. Um, and they also got, they also helped me get a job too, because I started working like uh, maybe like four weeks after I finished, after I graduated. Yeah, they got me an interview. Uh, they had me a few interviews, uh, but this one job just um, kind of, sounded really really interesting so um uh, i'm at snc electric um right now um and i've been there ever since oh, that's, that's really great so that was it seems like that was really a really good program for you and that's i mean that's amazing to have job placement in i mean less than than a little over less than a month i mean that's that's yeah. a really really good uh good program because most of the time you're you're lucky if you can get you can get a job in uh, less than like three or, or four months. So that's, because um, I know with some people, the job placement is really hard to get. Even after you get your degree, you graduated because they want that, you know, that experience. So that's experience, very, right. very yeah. valuable. Um, so kind of take us back to when you were a kid and you were, you people would ask you like, what's, what do you want to be when you grow up? What, what, what did you say when you were like, you were eight, you were like, oh, I want to be a, what was that? Oh, when I was younger, I wanted to be a pilot. That was my thing. Like, that was the biggest mm -hmm. thing. I was like, I wanted to be a pilot. That was, I, you couldn't tell me I wasn't going to be a pilot when I uh, got older. But um, once I finished high school, I was kind of over it. Like, I was kind of over school. Like, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to start making money and being grown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, got into the real world. And I was like, you know what? I, I, wanted, I do want to do more. But it was just like, I, I never had like that pathway into you mm -hmm. know in the trades and stuff like that I knew I didn't know anything about the trades um I actually didn't find out really too much until I was older um about it but um I just knew that I was school wasn't it wasn't for me um at the time <laughs> well, I think it's it's great you you realize that like at the time you just you weren't ready for for that you know additional schooling you you're like you know I I want to go out in the workforce get some experience and um yeah, did you like it, I mean obviously you you revisited that to because then you got your is it a certification is that right for for welding yes yeah it's a welding certification. So what was the, the process look like for uh, working on getting that certificate? I know you, you um, mentioned it was 12 weeks long. Yeah, it was 12 weeks long. 
Um, I think now um, they actually cut it back. It's only 10 weeks long, but I think they do longer hours. Mm -hmm. um, but the first three weeks were online. It was like a Zoom class. We did math refreshing, refresher because a lot of the people in my class haven't been in school in a while. So, and with welding, it is, it is a lot of math, but mostly like fractions and stuff like that. And okay. uh, using the uh, ruler and, and uh, tape measures and things like that. So we dig over uh, math. And then after that, the nine weeks where we went straight into the classroom, um, they gave me they gave me a welding helmet. Um, they gave me boots, steel toe boots, because you need that. Um, and then even if like you needed pants, like jeans, because you needed jeans to, to weld, um, they, they will supply that for you too as well. I got a bus card to get back and forth to school. Oh. Um, so they, they pretty much set me up for everything that I needed. And then, um, in class, I'm, I was nervous cause I was like, I never did anything like this before. Oh, um, so I was like, Oh my goodness. Like I've never well before. What if I burn myself or burn the place down or something like that? Like I was like, this is something, it was totally new to me, but they made it so easy. And, um, I caught on really quickly and I was like, I can't believe like, you couldn't tell me like back in high school that when I get older, I'm going to be a welder because I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> yeah, it seems, I mean, you want to be a pilot. You're like, hey, wait, well, I mean, don't talk about being a welder. I'm going to be a pilot, but. You know. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I mean, that's that's the thing where I feel like we, you know, when we were six or eight, we remember what we wanted to be because everyone's asking us what we want to be. And then when we're we're 18, we're like, no, we, we don't really want to be a pilot or in my case, I think it was a baker or something. I was like, no, I, I six or whatever it was. I, I don't, or like a postman. Oh my goodness. I love being like a, I love when the, like the mall person would come. Uh -huh. Those things where, you know, you, you feel like you're like, oh, I want to be this. And then you realize you're like, no, that's, that's such a job I, I want to enjoy. Right. So with the, with all that that type of training and education was what what was the cost involved for you it was free the program was uh free it was uh funded by they're funded by grants um Great. so um it, it, there was no cost to me which was a good thing <laughs> yeah i mean it's always great when you can get something for free yes it's, is the uh, what's the application process look did they reach out to you or did you reach out to them so I, I was uh, browsing online and I saw um, the Chicago Women in Trades online and they had an information session um, and it was coming up. It was, I think it was like two days later. So I, I hopped on the information session and I was like, this sounds really interesting. Um, once I, I got done with the information session, then there was an, an application process. It's more so they want to make sure that this is something that you're like really interested in um, because they can only allow so many girls in in a session at a time so they just want to make sure hey this is what you really want to do because we're investing in you yeah i again that that seems like such a great resource for the community and and you just you found it browsing online yeah i found it on, online wow that's that's such a great way to to get resources like I, I know a lot of things are word of mouth, but that's that's really amazing that you were you were able to go out, you found it, and and, and tell us more about your experience with it was Chicago Women in Trades. Is this a a national or, or local organization? Just Women in Trades? Is that? It's 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 local. Um, okay. it's they they do they serve they like to service like the Chicago area, but they do go out into like the suburbs and stuff as well. So, um. Yeah, it's it, it's local now, but uh, hopefully it'll be on the national level. Um, and they don't they also um, they don't just do welding program. They also have another program. It's called the Tops program, and and that program is like I know I want to be in the trades, but I'm not sure which trade I want to be in. So what they do is they actually take you around to different um trade like uh, the carpenters the iron workers uh the plumbers and you just kind of get a chance to see uh, what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and you kind of get a little bit of hands-on training so you can kind of see what it is in the trades that you actually want to do 
Well, that's, that's really amazing that you have that opportunity to, to learn and about, you know, the different, many different trades. Cause I mean, welding is, is just one of the many options that are open to people in the trades. Uh, tell us, how did you decide on welding specifically? That uh, that seems like a very, um, again, a very great trade, but it's uh, what, what what moves you in that direction? Um, honestly, um, my love for fire, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. It's, it, it was my, my, my love for fire. And I was like, what? Right. They actually have a job where you get to play with fire and put things together? Sounds like my kind of job. <laughs> okay. That's that's really awesome. I I, I know uh, the I I we have a connection there. I, I love fire. The, <laughs> the 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 thing that was it keeps getting me in trouble. I accidentally almost burned a, my kitchen table down. So <laughs> I almost burned my my uh, trash can down. So there yeah. we go. Yeah. I feel like we all had that that one start of the thing we we almost burned down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was like, if I can I can do something with fire and not get in trouble and this is my job, sign me up. Oh yeah, right. Like that's that's the the amazing thing is is you you want to do what you love. Mm-hmm. And and you I mean you love fire. So it's how can you do that and use it as a career? That's that's amazing. You you found that and um and and pursued it. So mm-hmm. did you ever like participate in their their like program where you could visit the different uh trades areas or or did you just say nope I just welding straight up I want to do welding I I did welding because it was either one or the other so I was like I knew that I was like welding I was leaning more towards the the welding program so I, I I stuck with that that's that's really great that you again you you found that the resource and, and pursued it um tell us about what it was like getting into the industry welding you know especially as a woman is that's something that I think or a conversation I think like a lot of people ask is is are women in welding um there are women in welding um because the classes that we they they take we, they do I think about four or five a year um, and there's about nine or 10 women in each class. So there are women out here who will. Um, it's just getting in these professions are, are a little hard. Um, and that's what Chicago Women in Trades kind of comes in and they step in and they help us get into these different professions. Like me, um, being older in age, I, I knew that, you know, joining one of the unions wasn't, you know, something that I wanted to do because yeah. it was going to be a lot of physical demanding and I was like I knew that 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 wasn't something that I wanted to do um I wanted to do more fabrication but there are women who do want to get into those fields and I like the fact that they do step in and help bridge that gap for women to get into those fields yeah because I know I've heard it's been I'm for for some women I I know we're in welding it's been quite difficult for them to um to to get in just with you know with some of the barriers that are that are um in place unfortunately but it's uh it's really great that you know again there's programs like this the chicago woman in trades uh was it what do you find that was helpful in um in getting into into the welding and and working your at your your current company um when i first started there i was the only woman there so that was a little intimidating, um, yeah. especially with the, you know, macho men <laughs> that I work with who just was like, oh, we can do this and women can't do that. And then, you know, um, when I got there, I wasn't like the the best welder there because I was coming straight out of school. Um, yeah. But I had a lot of, you know, I had a, a guy that kind of took me under his wing and was helping me out and stuff like that. Now I just be welding circles around him up there. I don't care. <laughs> so this, this is the highlight of my day that's that's really awesome that i mean you you started out and you i mean you went you know went from school to here and i mean now you're doing very well in in, in welding and uh, what type of welding do you do because i know there's there's many different types of welding if, if we want to get into that uh yeah i just do right now i just do mig welding um they do have, you know, like different, well, like TIG welding and stick welding. 
Um, I have tried, like, I do like the TIG welding. Um, I've tried that. And then I do like the stick welding is a little bit more complicated. Um, but I do like that. But mid welding is, is used more frequently. So that's, that's uh, what I got my certificate in MIG welding. Oh, it's, it's in MIG. So mm -hmm. what are, I guess, what are some of the differences between like MIG, Trig, Flux, um, Stick? Um, MIG welding, um, is mostly like, um, uh, it's, uh, mostly it's, it's more so like you, you use your, you, everything that comes through your, your gun, um, uh, your, uh, wire gun, um, uh, TIG is a little bit more difficult because you have to pick, um, which one of the, it's it's been a while since I I've done TIG, oh. but they're like little they're little sticks that you have to pick out, and it's it's you 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 really sit down when you TIG well because you got your foot pedal, you got this hand right here, and then you're feeding in the wire, and you got your gun in this hand, so it's a little bit more tedious. Uh, and stick mm, welding, yeah. I, I I didn't get that down. Um, it it's uh you got the spark the um starting to spark. Uh, and without it sticking, TIG is a little, it's a little, di it's a little difficult. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't something that I, I would have been able to pick up in, in, in the nine weeks that we had of, of, of welding. Yeah. So it, it seems like it was, you, so you get a certification in one of them. Is that right? Yes. And that's me. Okay. Oh, good. Good. So it's, and can people be certified in like multiple ones or do, are they normally just go for like one certification? Yeah, they, at Chicago Women in Trades right now is just MIG because that's usually like what a lot of uh, jobs re require is, is MIG welding. Um, oh. They do, a lot of jobs do want you to be like my job. They have programs where they, you can actually take, like I can take a TIG class and um, I think it's, three different TIG classes. I, it's like TIG one, two, and three. And then I'll get my cert certification in TIG. And then I can take a stick welding class too as well. Um, and I think that's one, two, and three. And then I can get my certification in stick. But my job mostly uses just MIG welding. So. Okay, so MIG is, is probably the most popular and marketable yeah. certification to get. Okay. And again, that's, that's very good for our viewers to know that um, the different types of ones and which ones are more employable. So yeah, and then um, if you want like a dual certification, I would say MIG and TIG. TIG would be the second most popular. Okay, that's again that seems like yes, yeah, it's, it's two very uh, it's kind of different ways ways to weld. But but that's that's great. What so pivoting just a little? What's the like the starting salary for for your average welder? Um, it depends on what you go into. Like me, I'm in fabrication. Um, so fabrication, you can start anywhere. Um, they start as low as like $20 an hour and you can get as much as like 37, 38 an hour in, in uh, fabrication. Um, but if you go to like a union um, and you get into one of those um, trades, uh, they start off more, um, especially if you're, you're, uh, you get in like when you turn like 18 or 19 or something like that, uh, you start off at about like 20 something dollars an hour. You, you're an apprentice. Um, so you're working and you're going to school. And then once you hit your journeyman's level, then that's when you started making like, you can make 50 to $60 an hour. Oh wow! So that I mean, that's that's a really good paying job. Yeah, and I mean, and it, their benefits are are amazing too as well. So a lot of a lot of people that I know that have been doing it for years, um, say after about you know fifteen twenty years, they retire with a a really great print pension. Oh, so it what types of like is like benefits like is the the health care good or yeah they gave good um where i am we have really good uh benefits health care 401k um all of that is is phenomenal um even in if you go into um 
like if you start off as an apprentice or something like that, um, they have good health care, they have good pension plan. Um, it's really good. Well, wow, that's again, that seems like so, they, I mean, getting into a career like that, and again, where most of the education can get paid for, it seems, seems really good. Yeah. So what are the, um, so which types of industries are, are this? Cause you mentioned there's fabrication and union and what, what are some of the differences between them? So fabrication is just like, it's most mostly like assembly line work, or you come in and you're doing just what you're, uh, hired to do like I make electrical boxes so I come in and that that's, that's what I do um, all day I make these electrical boxes um, if you go into the union it depends on which union so like say if you go into the iron worker union um, you're going to be working on buildings and you're going to be working with heights um, you're going to be working long hours and um, you're going to be working as long as like the job site is needed um, you'll get laid off for for a little bit, and then they'll find you another job, and then you'll pick back up on on, on that job. So that's mm. what it that's being in the union. But you're you're making when whatever you're on that job site, you're making really good money. So that way, when if you oh. do get laid off, you're still able to to pay the bills and, and you know get things done until they find you another job site. 